Memphis police are bulking up their presence around Wolf Chase Galleria one day after an act of violence on mall property. Good evening and thanks for joining me. I'm Katina Rank and my co-anchor Richard is off this week. Authorities said these five people were in groups who fired at each other Sunday afternoon in a Wolf Chase parking lot. No one was hurt, but shoppers inside, they were shaken. Local 24 News reporter Brad Broders is live at the mall where he spoke to one woman who saw it all unfold. Brad? Katina, she certainly did. That woman told me she hid inside the Macy's dressing room area after bullets flew in this parking lot Sunday afternoon. Today, she remained rattled following the second major shooting on this mall property in less than two years. From lingering frustration. People just absolutely don't care about anybody but themselves anymore. To lingering fear. I've never been in a situation like that before. Witnesses to Sunday's shooting outside Wolf Chase Galleria weighed in Monday. One woman who didn't want her name or face shown said she saw one man open fire into the parking lot next to the Cheesecake Factory, forcing her to take cover inside a department store. I mean, where's people running to their vehicle out from Macy's? And I mean, people um, jerking up their children and running out. And, and the people that I was in the dressing room with, that, everybody was scared. Memphis police believe an argument between two groups led to at least two people shooting at each other near innocent bystanders. Similar situations to Sunday's shooting have happened before at the 22-year-old Cordova Shopping Center. Cell phone video captured the chaos of this shooting the day after Christmas 2017, in which five people were hurt and seven people were arrested. A year before that, in December 2016, police arrested nearly a dozen people after flash mobs and fights at Wolf Chase. It's going to hurt the mall. People aren't going to want to go, and then they wonder how come... The Mall of Memphis isn't here anymore. Diana Clark's daughter witnessed the weekend wolf chase shooting and hopes the five people police believe are connected will be brought to justice. Now, in the last hour, a Wolf Cage Gallery a spokesperson released a statement which said, in part, there are proactive security measures all across this property, both seen and unseen. In addition to that, you can see Memphis Police has Sky Cop cameras on the property, as well as private security. The, Meyer, the mall hires roaming this property pretty much all hours of the day. Reporting live at Wolf Chase Galleria in Cordova, Brad Broders, Local 24 News.